I'm making this video just to keep track of what I'm doing about music and stuff. Right now, I'm watching um, making of the bands on MTV right now, and it's really inspiring me on what they're doing, you know, like everybody's been practicing music all their life and I feel that you know I have been practicing for about all my life you know with music and stuff probably you know like around sixth seventh grade you know I've been doing music right now I'm 17 and uh, someday I hope I can I can get up there you know and just be up there with everybody else you know and do something with my life It'd be really awesome to just make music for the rest of my life, and someday I hope I, I, I can really do that. Okay, okay. Just <laughs> joking. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some examples uh, of what I can do, or I don't even know what I'm saying. You know, I'm gonna give you guys some examples because you know, really, I'm just gonna be watching this. You know, <laughs> I'm stupid, man. But yeah, like right now I'm watching uh, the making of the bands right now. Check this out. Treat you kind. He's definitely somebody that I've always wanted to work with. So I'm very excited that he is able to see me perform. Like someday I hope I can like be on TV or something, you know? Uh, track 11 a certain amount of energy that um, a star that. gives off. Even the most timid, introverted person can give off and exude a certain amount of energy that will just feel it in your body. Now, I Everybody was just staring at me. Like, they were in no emotion. So I felt like, oh, man, I messed up. Look at this guy, he's pretty good. Okay. 18 years old. Alright. He's 18. Alright. And I'm not even as good as him. What position are you playing? Okay, okay. Alright. Look at that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is when you get home, call me so I can talk to you about it, okay? And I love you. Bye bye. Thanks, bye. Alright, it's all good. That guy is awesome. You can see me die, watch my cash keep dropping the dirt. Two minutes later, catch me flying up the block and I hurt. Tell me why is this See, these people have been writing music for a long time, and uh, that guy Puff Daddy or whatever, he's the man, you know, and he's gonna he's gonna pick one of those people, and they're gonna they're gonna be famous. They're, they're gonna be up. Check it out. That's awesome. That guy is awesome, man. Someday, someday, look at, I'm gonna be looking at this one day, and I'm gonna be like, I can't believe you, dude. You did it. You fucking did it. Look at, look at the past. You see the past? Now look at yourself now. Look at yourself now. Joey Guterres, you're fucking damn, dude. You, you, you did your dream. And that's what I'm going to be saying. That's what I want to be saying. You know? I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you what I've been doing for the past, you know, whatsoever years. And uh, we'll just hit it off from there. Alright. Yeah, um. I'm just gonna show you guys around my room. What am I saying, you guys? I'm gonna show myself what I've been working on. 
and what I need to make it to where I to what I want to be. You know, right now I've been I don't know. I work at Bear Creek. You know, I, I don't really make that much money. It's so hard to save money, but uh, like I want to buy a keyboard right here. I want. I'm really looking for a beat machine. This is an MPC drum machine. You could like do so much stuff. I'd, and I'm looking for a band too. You know, I can't find a band, but I could write music and shit like that. But I don't know. But these are the things that I want, and I'm looking forward to getting when I turn 18. Them. That's the sample right there. That's a 2000. And this is a 4000. This will cost a little bit more. This one's $5,000. And this one's about 2000 but I could do so much if I had those. If I had anyone. And this thing right here is also a sampler. Keyboard. You could also mess with the vocals on there too. You just fuck around with all of them. You guys can see that I'm using it a lot. Check this out. That was Cooper. Has kept first job as rock and roller. This dude right here. Isn't that crazy? Some of this shit. First job, Alice Cooper also turned out to be his last. At, at, at the age of 15, Cooper, Phoenix's famous rock musician and owner of whatever, whatever restaurant, started playing small parties in 1964 with the garage band he found formed called The Spiders. Cooper formed a band with four friends from Cordes High School, and so on and so on. Basically what it's talking about is that uh, he started a band when he was 15 and he's kept it. It's just stupid shit. I don't know if I ever told anybody this, but uh, this mirror represents like everything that is me and what I want to do with my life. Because uh, I guess it's a mirror in the background, but uh, it's my. Uh, it's everything that I want to be, you know, reflects on me. So what I put on side, what I put on the outside of the mirror, I want that stuff, all this, to reflect on me. So I'm seeing myself right now, basically. I'm seeing everything that I want to do, everything that I want to be. I don't know if anybody knows that, but that's what it is. I just want, I just want all this to be, you know, I want to, I don't know, I'll fuck it. Some pretty tight posters up here. Life is full of important choices. Ha <laughs> ha everybody got some drinks sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yep, 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 yep. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. And this is my stupid ass closet. Some stupid shit. Pretty spares. There's another mirror. Those girls that are on there, they don't like fucking reflect on me, but you know, it'd just be nice to have fucking hot chicks like that. You know, that's why I put them up there. Look at that. Rockstar, right? Someday. Someday. 
Dean of Students here at the University of College. To give you a better chance of getting I in, we simplified our application process. Congratulations. You've been accepted. I don't it. All you have to do is sign the application. Here's my rap door. Which is a check for $12,000. Just that simple. Want to check out your new Everybody. school? Everybody. Come on. Master P. Let's go. Mystical. New York College was founded in 1822 by Jimmy Winslow after he was rejected by every school in America on the basis of the University of Washington. The weights, you know, so I gotta pump that iron sometimes. Stereo. Which explains his infamous That's me. I think I know that. Gotta do it. Hey, we need some weights. He has to be. Class sizes are kept small at the University of Hawaii. Because attendance is not mandatory for students or teachers. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. If someone does decide to show up, we teach a progressive curriculum based entirely on students' suggestions. Basically, this is my Basically, this is my Finally, we believe you should work at your own pace. So whatever you feel you're craving. It's an eight-track recorder. I don't even know. No, I, I really know how to work it though. And, uh, the University of College. I guess one of my my buddy you know Brian, he's my old drummer. He uh let me borrow this so I can record a demo and that's Dexter and the Orphan has a drummer. Couldn't know the name, but me and my DJ, my friend Jeremy, wrote that song together. Fucked around with that shit. It's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna press stop. Quick. Quick. This is so stupid. Alright, well, I'm just gonna show you guys. Wait. This is my uh, place where I write all my music. My fucking, you know, my magical desk. This thing's pretty cool, check this out. I can freak my business and surround my surround my I'm fucking in a ceramics. I said surround my ex. It's pretty trippy, though. I made that a lot back. Just to show you. Just to show you how much I love music, you know. This is my band. It's pretty cool. You're watching the all my Saturday nights on MTV. Fucking thesaurus, check this out. Nutrition plays an important role in growth and development. Good nutrition is a matter of balance. Provide foods from several food groups at each meal. Keep going, man. Damn. Whole green bread, cereals, fresh fruits, and vegetables. Your family will thank you for it. Yeah. Scratch and burn is coming at you on MTV. Thanks to Levi's Blue Eyed Jeans. Yeah, that's all good. There we go. This is a pretty cool show. I'll probably show you guys this later. But uh, I haven't named it yet. Right now, I don't know, it's going to be like a girl song. With the lyrics, I like, you're alone, you're alone. I'm craving the intensive taste of you. Delicious as you fucking look, you show. You show me more than what I think I know. You're alone, all alone. Now here I come, my love, to rescue you. Save me from the spot is what you say. Your soul is screaming for me instantly. I'll find a way, I'll look inside your body. You know, I think and it's not even me, I'd love to teach you something. You're alone, Go! not a crowd is with you. Steve. Your yep. torso is gold and I'm about to steal you. So here I come, wait now, for me. Don't try to run or I might yeah, make you bleed. You're alone. Fuck, you're with me. It's the All with me. All with me for eternity. This was you know, you Get too many girls, you know, this one gets you going. Let me talk about my life a little bit. Cool. Well, 
There's not really much to say about my life, you know, my teenage life really, I think it really sucks really bad. I've done a lot of drugs and shit, done lots of drugs. Um, I've had awesome friends, actually, if I think about it, I don't really have much friends. Um, all the friends that I have, you know, they use me. Or I either have to impress them a lot just to hang out with them. I don't have a car. I'm 17 years old. My parents haven't bought me a car yet, you know? I go to school with a whole bunch of rich kids anyways, you know? So they all look at me and shit. And, like I don't have a fucking car, you know? It's, it's pathetic. And it's so hard on my senior year, too, because this is my last year. And going to work struggling by going to work you know and uh it's just fucking hard it's really hard on me i haven't been going out i have to, i just had two weeks off you know because we have like like i don't know we get two weeks off because we get year round and uh this is the last week that we had off of school and i haven't done a thing i've been i've been working all day and i haven't been out I haven't been out whatsoever. And I like to go out, you know. I want to go out and drink with my friends or, you know, party or have a good time, you know. But my mom doesn't trust me. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any friends, you know. So, I mean, if I did, I could, I could hang out, you know. If I had a car, I would have friends, you know. At least that's what I think, you know. It, it, it fucking sucks. I don't, I had a girlfriend, but I don't really have a girlfriend and shit. That's fucking crazy, dude. They're making fun of Cypress Hill or something. Hold on, I want to see this real quick. Well, here, I'll let you check it out. That's funny, dude. Oh, yeah, we represent the back game. Oh, shit, the battery's running out. Battery runs out. Um, I guess I showed you enough in here of what I did, but uh, actually I haven't. Fuck it, never mind. I'll just plug the thing, the cartridge back in. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't really have a life. I, I come home. I'm really fucking lazy. I hardly write music. But I know I've been doing it for like half of my life. You know? So, like, when I express my music, something really has to happen to me. And it's so easy to write. I can write a whole song. But a fucking, uh,. If I just come home and write, you know, it's not going to work out. And it, it works out, but it's not going to, like, you know, bazaar. You know, it's not going to, like, fucking be like that. It's, it's, it's just really complicated. But about my life again, you know, I try. I try hard to meet people. I try fucking hard to get attention. I've been doing the announcements right now at school, and so far... People, a lot of people have been coming up to me saying, hey, you know, you're doing a good job and all this shit, but nobody really wants to hang out with me. I don't go to lunch. I stay in those classrooms and fucking, like, mess around with the fucking snooze news and all the fucking announcements and shit. Because I don't know anybody over there. And people know me, but I forget everybody's name. And... 
I just, you know, I got friends, you know, that could become best friends if I had a car. You know, if I just started picking them up or saying, hey, how's it going? Right now, I have like two best friends, Ryan Butler and Jay, and um, my DJ Jeremy. So are two good friends that I've had for a while. And they've been there for me, you know? I've been there for them, you know? And then I have I had other friends, you know, that I thought were gonna be really good for me, but uh, apparently they're just using me for coke. And it's pretty sad of what you could do and fuck up your life just to get attention. It's really fucking sad. I guess that's why I want to become a rock star. So I could just look down on those people and say, fuck you. You know? This is what you've been doing the rest of my life. Now look at me. I'm finally getting attention. Ha ha, he he. <laughs> fuck. You guys might, you might think I'm demented. But uh, really, no, I'm not. I'm really fucking smart. I'm just really fucking lazy. And yeah, sometimes I do have a twisted mind and shit. But uh, fuck, you know? I think everybody has a fucking dark side to them. You know? If you just open everybody up, crack them open, you know? You'll find some secrets. And this is my secret that I'm telling you that my life, my life hasn't been great. It's really hard, especially right now. I'm talking to this girl, Jessica. Well, actually, she's being a bitch, and I'm not talking to her anymore. I met her at Walgreens, and, uh, like, I was like, hey, you know, how's it going? You know, call me sometime, you know? She called me after work, and, uh, she was like, hey, what are you doing? You know, I'm like, no, you want to come over? So, I'm like, hey. What are you doing tonight, you know? And she's like, oh, I'm at the mall. I'm like, oh, you are, yeah. I didn't really have any, I didn't really have to say much, you know? I was just like, I don't really have any, why do we, I really have to, fuck, dude. I don't even know what I'm gonna fucking say, dude. I'm already, um, I didn't have much to say, you know? There, I spit it out. Fuck, you know? It's hard, you know. And she was like, okay, you know, like fucking bitch, dude. Fucking bitch, dude. So I'm like, I'm, I'm done talking to her. That was like, that's probably pretty much like the most fun I've had since these two weeks that I've been off of school. It's just that girl. <laughs> and look where it ended up. It's because I'm a fucking loser. Still loser, dude. I'm just a fucking loser with no life. I try and I try, but the only person that believes in me is you. That's right, it's me. And there's just something, you know. Check this out. Every time I go outside, smoke a cigarette or something, I always look up at the sky and say, someday I'm gonna be up there. I'm gonna be up there with all them fucking stars. Someday. And it's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna be looking down at the ground. I'm gonna be like, hey, how's it going? I don't wanna fucking, I just, I just wanna be up there someday. That is my dream. And I'm gonna keep on trying. I'm gonna try so hard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be lazy anymore. You know? There's one thing I'm uncomfortable about is this singing in front of my mom. I've never sang in front of her. I don't like singing in front of her. It's kinda hard for me, so I can't wait to move out and just start playing as long as I can, you know? Oh man. It's just fucking crazy sometimes. Well, I got a pimple like right here. Can you see it? 
<laughs> I know you can, cause I'm a fuckly. You're an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> yeah, you know, I used to get hot chicks, but right now it's kind of like I'm not a chick magnet anymore. But guess what? That magnet's gonna be like it's gonna explode and shit pretty soon. And little particles, and I'm gonna be picking up. Nope. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, about that life shit, you know. I am a loser. <laughs> I get nervous when I walk in the hallways of school. So nervous. I'm nervous at what I what I look like. I won't go to school like this ever in my life. If I look like this then, you know, I won't even go to school. Because I'm just, I think I'm scared of what I, what I look like and what I am, you know? I'm scared of what people, how people see me. That's what I'm scared, that's my fear. I want people to like me. And I want to have friends and have tight friends, you know? Awesome friends, I want people to be like, hey, One second. All right, I'm back. All right, well, about my life and stuff, you know, it's not all that great, but like I said, I do. Fuck, I don't even know. I just know someday I want to become a rock star. And that'd be awesome. Let me turn this off. I know someday I want to become something. I want to do something with my life. With music, definitely. It has to be with music. Music is my life. Music is my future. Music is my destiny. I'm destined to do something really fucking cool. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid. some shit I'll show you some of my shit cigarette helps grunginess My heart is on a textile flow cut from my life and dies into pieces. Drain now, drips through the houses, it burns its way with the black circle in me. Glass stuck in my eyes as a blanket cuts. Blood drops in my mouth and I can't say much. So I choke up a chunks from the muscle in me. Torso hacked up from my enemies. <laughs> I was pretty fucking gay. That's yeah, shit that I wrote a long time ago. What I got in here? I'm writing a song called Rosary. Y'all know what handicapitated is, right? But uh, I guess I'm rewriting it, making it better. Everything I rewrite 
becomes something really better. You know, it comes comes good and shit. Yep. I'll eventually start singing though. Not right now, but Monday. I don't work, so I work at a golf course. It's pretty cool. Check this song out. I'm not gonna sing, I'm just gonna read the lyrics. It's like my mom's sleeping. It says, I look down upon my sinful reactions. Devastated sympathy is in action. Embrace my crucifix and decide if I should die committing this suicide. Father, save me. Take me to your city. And then. I stop right there, but hopefully tonight, write some more and shit like that. Struggling in school. School sucks. I hate school. But look at me, dude. I'm fucking retarded. Brain dead. My brain's decapitated. And I'm handicapitated. Fuck you! Yeah. Awesome people. Just to see how and show you what my life is. All my best friends or something. Snap back to reality. What's up, dude? What are you doing? Sleeping? He was gonna ask if you wanted a drink or something. Yeah. That's cool, dude. Alright. Alright, well. Busy with this girl. See, I need to get a girlfriend. See what my other friends do. You know. Home or something. That was home. I don't know who else to call. Sucks. It's a Saturday night and I'm not doing shit. Everybody's out partying. But I'm not doing nothing. Not doing nothing. Fuck. I hate my life. It sucks. Reload my revolver and spin the barrel. Taste the chamber with the one night scenario. You know what the fuck to do. Yeah, fucking bored. I don't know what to do. There's nothing to do. Can't go out because I got no friends. 
I just have to depend on a ride. Ask my sister, can you take me out? Can you pick up my friend, take me somewhere? And she's like, nope. Fucking sucks. Life fucking sucks. All these fucking stupid ass, preppy ass fucking cheerleaders at school. Talk to them, their fucking life is too great, you know, it's like fucking A dude. I can't I can't compete to that level. It's too fucking hard. Gotta impress them. Gotta show fucking money. Which I don't wanna be blown out of my pocket every five minutes. You know? And some of them don't even appreciate you. They just want a fucking fancy ass car. They want to see you have money. They want to see you have a great body. Which um, I don't have. Um, they want to see you dress nice. And plus you have to have class, game. You have to be popular. You don't necessarily have to play a sport, but yeah. That fucking helps big time. And it just sucks that I can't have one of those girls, you know. It's it's fucking really hard on me. I try to make friends, you know. It's really hard too because I gotta make friends with everybody that has a car. And when I tell them, you know, it's really hard to say, hey, what are you doing tonight? They're like, oh, I'm going to a party. You want to come? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, give me directions. And they're like, all right. They give me directions and shit. I'm like, hey, can you pick my ass up? And they're like, fuck, dude. We got like five people with us already. I would, but, uh, dude, we already got a lot of people. I'm like, all right. So I call everybody up I haven't called before, you know. I'm like, hey, you want to go to a party? They're like, yeah. I'm like, alright, um, you wanna pick me up and give you directions? They're like, uh, no. <laughs> I wish I had transportation. Life fucking sucks. I wish I had a car, I wish I had a fucking nice ass ride, fucking fat ride, wish I had a fucking beautiful girl, oh man, I get so much attention with her, you know, I was, oh man, you know, I had money, I wish my music was so awesome, everybody looked down on it, you know, it was like, bam, I wish I had friends with the ass. Friends all over, you know? It's like, what's up, man? You know? But it's not like that. And I know it's not gonna happen. Cause right now I'm sitting at home on a Saturday night doing shit. Just being bored. Getting fat. Ugly. I didn't get one phone call today. I'll come home after work, like around 8 o'clock from the golf course and shit. I'm like, Mom, did anybody call for me? She's like, not that I know of. I go up to Francine, my sister, and I'm like, hey, Francine, did anybody call for me? She's like, um, no. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, nobody really calls for me. Nobody really wants to talk to me. Because I'm a dumb ass. Stupid. I just want to have fun. 
Maybe sometimes I take advantage of my fun, though. Go a little overboard, but hey, I think I only do that is because, you know, I don't usually do it. Maybe if I was out there, you know, a lot, kind of get tired and say, hey, I want to come home and chill. I don't want to go out tonight. But since I don't go out, like every fucking, probably go out once a month, you know, so I don't go out that much. I probably say, hey, dude, I want to go fucking go out. I'll do anything, you know, fuck. It's true. It's so true. And then shit happens that way. They get in trouble or busted or fucking grounded. I think I'm a good looking guy. You know, when I get ready, you know, right now I look like shit. Just, you know, getting off of work and not taking a shower or anything like that. You get a haircut, my berms are coming out fucking hardcore. Sucks. Start working out, dude. My face is getting really fat and shit. I already saw it. Neck. <sighs> fucking crazy. What do I want to know? What do you guys want to know about me? It's a lot. I can fucking open the whole fucking box full of fucking shit to say. And you guys will be shocked. Your eyeballs will bulge out of your sockets. And then I'll fucking look at you. And then I'll eat them. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Hey, guess what? I'm tasting what you're, like, fucking, you know, seeing. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just joking. Fuck. Mm, uh, I wish I had that beat machine right now so I could just fuck around with it. You know, on days, you know, where I can't sing, make beats. Should be tight. Yeah, 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 Oh my god, so fucking boring. Maybe I should write a song about that, huh? Being bored out of my mind. There's no time, but I think I need to go now. Committing suicide, fuck this life. Hell no, cause someday I'ma be somebody. Looking on the TV, getting inspirations. Look at me, Joey G, on this motherfucking track. Fuck, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm coming back with this motherfucker. And I'm banging this hell. Oh, I don't know, cause I'm retarded, my brain's decapitated, oh, no, did I fought it, <laughs> fuck, I don't know, ah, uh. where is the bug, where is the bug, you're obtained, obtained, fuck, Who should I call? Who should I call? I don't know. This is what I do every night. I wait for people to call me. And usually nobody calls. But I just wait anyways. Something might happen. Like, hey, how's it going, you little bitch? Write a song, be like, days go by, and not a single thing I've done. Nights are shitty. 
everybody's going out and bitches are gritty I don't know I'm brain dead right now can't think I guess I wrote a little song about how fucking bored I am and how shitty my life is. It's called Sledgehammer. And I, I wrote it really fast. It took me like three minutes. This is how it goes. Depression is like a sledgehammer. And it pounds me in the face, gorging my skull, denting my life like there is no tomorrow. Migraines are exploding with men. Migrant, fuck it. Here it goes. Depression is. Fuck. Depression is like a sledgehammer. It pounds me in the face, gorging my skull, denting my life like there's no tomorrow. Migraines are exploding with misery. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm not doing nothing on a Saturday night. Shit is hype, but I'm not out there living it up, living the life, and living it right. It fucking sucks when you got nobody. So I'll do myself a favor and cut. So I'll do myself a favor and let this knife cut me like silly putty. Depression is like a sledgehammer, and it pounds me in the face, gorging my skull, denting my life like there is no tomorrow. Migraines are exploding with misery, or maybe it's just the fact that I'm not doing nothing on a Saturday night. Shit is hype, but I'm not living the life, living it up, living the life, or living it right. Fucking sucks when you got nobody. So I'll do myself a favor and, cut and let this knife cut me like silly putty. Oh, but fuck. Sometimes I feel like I want to. Maybe this is what I was born to do. Maybe God put me on this earth to be bored. No, <laughs> probably. Sorry. God didn't do that. I love God. But, uh, maybe this was meant to be, seriously. Maybe I was supposed to get depressed this night and just feel like fucking all fucked up and then look at, this is what I just came up with, you know? <laughs> I came up with a song right now. It's pretty fucking weird. But seriously, I was writing it right now, thinking of, like, how bad my life is and Already, you know, I already got a chorus of the song, and I'm kind of happy for myself. Serious, because this opens up another door to writing for other days, and it's seriously fucking cool. But, uh, yeah, maybe this was meant to be that my life is just, you know, like, you know, I write with my emotions, like you said, you know, and I got depressed tonight because nobody called me and there's nothing to do. So, like I said, depression is just like a sledgehammer fucking smashes you in the face, you know? Maybe it was supposed to happen to me, you know? That's why I wrote this and put everything in detail, you know? Because what if depression was a sledgehammer, you know? And people thought it tastes good? So, you know, it's weird how I think, you know? Like, thinking of a chef, you know? He has a, he has a fucking bucket, right? He's like cooking in the fucking kitchen. And on the bucket, it says fucking depression. So he's all stirring it up, you know? He's in the kitchen, fucking like, it's all dark and shit, you know? Fucking chef, you know, like, probably all fucking depressioned out, you know? Like, all gothic, you know, chef? 
stirring up a bucket full of depression. And he's serving soup. You know, he's like, that's the one. And he's putting in bowls. And it's like a big ass banquet, right? And people are eating. And they'll be like ordering on a menu. Ooh, I'll have depression. And they'll be like, alright, it's delicious. So he pours it into a bowl and people start eating it and crying and getting all fucked up. Hey, taste what I tasted tonight. I'm fucking crazy. Ain't that right? Do this one more fucking time because I kind of like this song. The phone, the magical phone that doesn't fucking work. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> oh man. The magical phone that doesn't work. No digital electricity on my brain because it's not working for me. Nope, not your OG. Okay, let's listen to the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. <laughs> Fucking bloody stick. Alright, let's check it out, dude. I can focus this motherfucker. Stupid ass. The school let me borrow this camera. It's pretty cool that they let me do that because I'm so interested in this kind of film. Alright. Depression. Okay. Depression is like a. Depression is like a sledgehammer. It pounds me in the face, gorging my skull, denting my life like there is no tomorrow. My grains are exploding with misery. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm not doing nothing. On a Saturday night, shit is hype, but I'm not out there. Living it up, living it, living the life, or living it right fucking sucks when you got nobody so I'll do myself a favor and let this knife cut me like silly putty I fucking want to go home go back where I came from when I was an alien different dimensions are better than depressions that's the chorus right there. Different dimensions are better than depressions. 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 And basically what the song is saying about... Basically, what the song is saying about what is it saying? Uh, different dimensions are better than depressions. It's saying a lot of people get depressed, right? And when a lot of people get depressed, they kill themselves. You know, they, they fucking slit their throat or shoot their soul you know, or something like that. You know, they fucking die. They want to kill themselves, they commit suicide. So. I, sh I know I shouldn't be doing this, but it sounds great, you know? But I'm actually giving an example, like, fuck this life, you know? If you want to do it, do it. I mean, different dimensions, you know? You want to go up there, something has to be better than this, you know? It has to be, there has to be other dimensions out there, you know? Like, fucking, it has to be fucking different realities, different lives. So different dimensions are better than depressions. So like I'm saying, you know, if you're somewhere else, it's better than here. You know, it's better than fucking being depressed. So just go out there and fucking bazap, you know, bazap your way out of this fucking world. Bazap your way fucking through space, through a different life, on a different planet. That shit would be fucking awesome, dude. So different depressions are better than, wait, different dimensions are better than depressions. Fuck yeah, dude. This is awesome. I got a new song, I got a new song called Sledgehammer.
pretty cool what you can do on a ho on a fucking night. You know, it's kind of cool that I come up with this shit. You know, when I'm fucking bored, I'm all depressed, not doing nothing. But now, it's fucking awesome. I think it's fucking tight. So good luck with your fucking career. Do whatever. Someday this is gonna be like fucking ET camera or an MTV camera. Yeah. I'm gonna be used to be on TV and shit. Be cool.